proceed. All right. Hey, Big Red. Um, welcome to another video from Just Two Dudes. My name's Louie. My name's Seth. I'm the dad. I'm the son. All right. Well, today here, we're going to talk about Naomi Sue. Sue. Um, boy, just, just the things we could tell you about watching this kid last year. Uh, I personally feel that uh, I've been watching college football every weekend for 30 years. And I do not, yeah, 30 years. Why well, I had to pause there. And I <laughs> know I have never seen any defensive player, linebacker, defensive end, corner, safety, have a better year defensively than Indomitian Sue had last year. Yeah. Uh, from start to finish, he just manhandled all Everybody. Americans. Yeah. Uh, probably future draft picks. I mean, there yeah. is just nobody that he didn't bully around. Nobody was on his level. No, no one even close. Um, now, it's funny you should say no one's even close to him. That's what we call the subway. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, Gerald McCoy. Uh, if you watched every Oklahoma game last year. And then you watched every Nebraska game. Gerald McCoy would be a very good player. Yeah. Then Indomitian Sue would have to be the greatest football player in the history of all known civilization when being compared to Gerald McCoy. Yeah. Um, my, my cousin, big Husker fan, hope to get him on a video with us someday. Yeah. He calls me up the other day and he says, hey, Louie. Why in the world are people saying that Gerald McCoy could be a better pro than Indomitian Sue? Now, of course, so this was very, leading up to the draft and yeah. everything like that. Uh, that was a pretty hot topic. Very, very good question. Listen, just because Indomitian Sue is a far superior college football player yeah. does not guarantee that he will be the better pro player. Right, like I always go back to this when I'm talking about it and as far as why McCoy would be better. Eric Crouch, 2001, there's no quarterback in the country that meant more to his team, did more for his team, and was just as skilled as he was. Yeah. But, of course, that was a running quarterback. And, of course, he didn't translate to the pros. But, I mean, that's just one yeah, thing. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't have to. Just because yeah. he never materialized in the pros, that that doesn't mean he wasn't an all-time college football quarterback. Oh, right? exactly. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, it has nothing to do with that. Um, but as far as as far as the college game goes, Big Sue is yeah. easily the best I've seen. Now, some of you older guys out there, maybe you can remember Rich Glover in his heyday. Uh, maybe some guy from Ohio State or Michigan that I've never heard of. Uh, that's fine. I'm saying in the last 30 years, no one is on Sue's level. Let's talk a little bit about the differences of Gerald McCoy and Indomitian Sue. Gerald McCoy was asked to line up right over the nose, or right over the nose of the center, uh -huh. be nose tackle, and all he was supposed to do was just blow up the center, just completely destroy him. And, you know, we're not trying to bash Owen McCoy here. Gerald McCoy did a hell of a job of Gerald doing McCoy that. is a great football He's player. He's a very good football player. He just player. picked the wrong time to be a great defensive tackle. <laughs> yeah. Gerald McCoy basically was asked to you not allow there speed. to be any pocket back there. They yeah. wanted the center pushed back to the quarterback to where there was no pocket. They wanted dis a disruptive force in the backfield, and that's what McCoy did. And he did it very well. Mm -hmm. However, if Big Sue would have been asked to line up over a center and push the center back four, four yards, and that's it, they would have to worry about dropping back and yeah. swatting balls away or containing a Tyrod Taylor, right. you know, because everybody on Oklahoma, Oklahoma, I mean, yeah, we had a great defense, but athletically, Oklahoma is still superior to us no question. in damn near every single position. Watch the mouth. I, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And so if Sue was asked to do that, Oh my goodness. He, he, he would have been say. on top of every quarterback. The quarterback would have been running for his life every play. Yeah. Centers would have had to have been changed every quarter and a half. <laughs> Maybe a really good center might have lasted two and a half quarters. Yeah. Uh, this guy, uh, just he, he did so much. And it's funny that they say that McCoy is more of a disruptive force in the backfield because Indomitian Sue not only contained the run, 
but simultaneously was able to put pressure on the quarterback. Yeah. He was a he has this sick ability to, to gauge whether it's going if the quarterback's gonna try and take off on the run or sit back there and pass, and then or, he just bats the ball down. Yeah, and he sniffs out screen plays like a linebacker would. Right. Like the it's, play against Missouri where the kid oh. catches the ball on a, what are those called, bubble screens or jail yeah. breaks? Oh, well, that's, a, that's and, a bubble screen. And and before the mm. receiver, right as the mm. receiver is landing with the ball, <laughs> our defensive tackle is waiting there to blow him up. Now, I'm sorry, Gerald McCoy, I don't think you're capable of doing that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he just, he killed that. I knew not to get talking about Big Sue because now we're off the topic. Okay, yeah. I, I knew this was dangerous. We'd go on for days about our man. Uh, Gerald McCoy, it is possible that if Gerald McCoy with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is asked to simply line up over center and get into the backfield, that he could be very, very good at that. He could be. I mean, NFL. And in that, the Tampa 2, which, of course, Warren Sapp made that extremely... You know, a lot of defenses in that time changed their whole system to kind of like that Tampa 2 system. If they had a nose tackle that could blow up the center every play, which Warren Sapp made a career out was, of. was very good. Very yeah, good at doing very, it. very good. And, you know, watching the draft, John Gruden, he just keeps saying that's, you know, because he was the coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for a while when Warren Sapp was playing. And just, you know... Just if he says that's what makes that defense go, I kind of have to yeah, trust you'd, that. You'd have to believe him. But but getting back to Sue here, um, there you know in the NFL you can be you can play 12, 15 years as a defensive tackle, nose guard, and average 25 tackles a year yeah. and be known as one of the greats of all time. In the NFL, defensive tackles don't usually pile up stats because no. they're not asked to do much other than occupy a center and right. a guard, force the double team, and free up these extremely talented edge rushers that are featured mm -hmm. in the NFL. That's what made Maybe his college career just yeah. so impressive because Nobody does that as a defensive tackle. Nobody even does that as a defensive lineman. Right. Half half of the linebackers that are starting linebackers in the country don't even have the numbers he has. Okay, so you know it's 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 gonna I think it's gonna be fun watching Gerald McCoy. I think yeah. it's gonna be ten times more fun watching Indomitian Sue. I, I just want to say that it is possible for Gerald McCoy to turn out to be a better pro player oh, than Indomitian Sue. As and much it, as that it, would suck. Yeah, it doesn't, it would never take away anything no. from Indomitian's 2009 football season yeah. for the University of Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, I can say that if Indomitian Sue is asked to do the same thing Gerald McCoy, is asked to do at Tampa Bay, you will see more numbers, you will see more sacks, you will see more tackles for loss, yeah. you will see more production out of Sue. But it, it never once leading up to the draft did I hear any anybody who was in the argument, whether it was Todd McShay or Mel Kuyper or Mark Schlereth, any of the NFL guys on ESPN, Huskers Illustrated, Huskerpedia, I never once heard him say that Gerald McCoy had a better college football season than Sue. No. Nor did they say Gerald McCoy had a better career than Indomitian Sue. Mel Kuyper so even no one's said trying that. to take anything Mel away Kuyper from Sue. Mel Kuyper said that exact thing. I mean, what, what we're saying here, that right. Sue had a better college career, but there's always that chance. Yeah, it is possible, but take, just take it easy, people. Uh, Big Big Sue's legacy is, is very well, uh, well guarded. Yeah. yeah. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.